In this packet tracer lab, we're going to discuss spanning tree port fast. What is a spanning tree port fast? And why is it important? Why do we use spanning tree port fast in switched networks? Now on Cisco's website, they discuss various options that you can configure with spanning tree, including port fast. And they say that port fast causes a switch or trunk port to enter the spanning tree forwarding state immediately, bypassing the listening and learning states. You can configure spanning tree port fast on switch or trunk ports that are connected to a single workstation, switch or server to allow those devices to connect to the network immediately instead of waiting for the port to transition from the listening to learning to the forwarding state. But you need to be careful with spanning tree port fast. If you enable spanning tree port fast on a port that's connected to another layer two device such as a switch, you may create network loops. So let's see the problem practically in this network. I'm gonna power cycle the devices in the topology and then on PC1, I'm gonna open up a command prompt and use the command ipconfig. Notice these ports are orange on the switch. So if I use the command ipconfig slash renew, the PC is not going to get an IP address because these ports are currently blocked by spanning tree. Onto the switch, show spanning tree. Notice the ports are currently in the learning state. Spanning tree has just gone green, but notice in the output of my switch, I see that they are currently in the learning state. So this command shows us the state of ports. Do that again, we can see that the ports are now forwarding. But while the switch was transitioning from blocking to listening to learning to forwarding, the PC wasn't able to get an IP address. So it would end up using an address in this range. Later on, the PC would get an IP address if it continues to send DHCP request messages but you can have problems with applications on your PCs if it takes 30 seconds for a PC to receive an IP address. So here again, the PC has got an IP address, but if I power cycle these devices, while the switch is booting up, and while the ports are transitioning through the spanning tree states like they are now, so again, back on the switch, the switch has no configuration, show spanning tree, port is currently in the listening state, and then should go to the learning state, as you can see there, and then will eventually go to the forwarding state. But during that time, PCs will not be able to receive IP addresses or forward traffic. A Windows PC, as an example, won't be able to log on to the domain. It's using one of these IP addresses instead of the IP address allocated by the DHCP server. Now, 169.254.something.something is a IP version 4 link local address. In other words, an IP address in this range, 169.254/16 is an IP version 4 link local address. This is similar in concept to FEAD colon colon/10 slash in IP version 6. The idea is that if a PC doesn't get an IP address from a DHCP server, it will use an IP address in this range so that two PCs can still communicate with one another if they, for instance, connected to a hub or a switch and there's no DHCP server on the network. So in other words, that's what this PC has done. It's used an IP address in this range, but that means that it won't be able to communicate with other servers on the network unless it continues to send DHCP requests and then it gets an IP address in the correct range as it did here, the PC won't be able to communicate with other devices such as domain controllers, DNS servers, or even connect it to the internet. This is a non-routable IP address. So how do we fix this? The answer is to use port fast. So can you configure this network so that the PCs 
receive IP addresses from the DHCP server immediately. The server here is configured as a DHCP server, so the PCs should receive IP addresses from the DHCP server as soon as they boot up. So can you complete this lab yourself? Download the packet tracer file and see if you can complete the lab. Otherwise, continue watching as I complete the lab.